Good morning, traders. Well, FX traders have some uh, T1 data to look forward to today, including the last major central bank meeting coming out of the Bank of Japan, also RBA monetary policy minutes and uh, Canadian CPI later on as well, which all could have the potential to move FX markets. Uh, Aussie US, the Aussie dollar is mostly in the green Monday session. Uh, initial strength that saw early on did um, fade later in the session. So Aussie US dollar supported also further by some uh, Bank of uh, People's Bank of China liquidity and a firmer yuan fix early on. Uh, mixed risk sentiment in the US session saw it hit resistance to that four month high around 67.35. And uh, did reverse course to hit a low of around 66.90. Um, RBA minutes released at 11.30 a.m. AEDT have the potential to see uh, the bank push back a little bit against the market's view that uh, rates have peaked. Uh, so more hawkish than expected minutes there could see a, a bit of a tailwind to the Aussie. Uh, Aussie US dollar CAD um, edged higher in Monday's session but held near its four-month lows there, rising oil prices uh, with that um, heightened tensions in the Red Sea did, I guess, support the CAD somewhat. Uh, so CAD traders will be waiting today's CPI inflation data where it's expected to hit, come out at 2.9 from uh, the drop from the previous reading of 3.1. So the Bank of Canada is one of those central banks that has left the door open to further hikes. So um, this will be a pivotal reading to, to test that narrative. Uh, the US dollar yen, uh, they've really got the much anticipated Bank of Japan meeting today, so could see some big swings in this pair uh, as investors really do look for clues to when that central bank foresees the end to its easy money policy. So the bank officials have recently pushed back against those rate hike expectations for this meeting, um, but with traders really pricing in an end of the negative rates in January, the language of the meeting will be key for the short-term performance of the yen. So a hawkish surprise could see the dollar yen drop down to that 140 handle. Um, if its language remains unchanged and the status quo remains, then maybe a little pop up there to 145.